I'd just like to point out something. I've been rooting through my 46 Ford stuff here. I'm trying to find all the pieces, but I'm, I could not never find the uh, uh, barometric pressure sensor. That's the word I was looking for, for this thing. I hunted everywhere. Couldn't ever find it. I just found it in that box. I can't for the life of me think of why it would be in that box. But there it were. So now I got two of them. Oh, happy day. I think it was like 70 bucks. All right, you may be asking yourself, what's he doing now? Well, here's what I'm doing. I went down and took this piece of light cardboard and scraped it on the front of that 96 Ford cab. Yes, I still have it. By the way, I ought to sell it. It's not rusty. It's a real nice 1996 cab. And uh, I make a template for my computer, the PCM. And instead of having it here on this piece of plywood, I'm going to try to make it fit somewhere right there inside the cab. Which seems like a pretty good idea to me. I was thinking that those things were outside the cab on that truck. But the PCM is inside, the IDM is outside. So... Let's see how this stuff shakes out. I got a lot of stuff going on in my head and let's see how it comes together. I'm gonna knock these holes out with this old 3030 shell. six cylinder you just hear that fire up looks like my shells a little dull but you get the idea all right there's my idea there's my template I'm gonna cut a hole right there and then the PCM will fit through that got them bolt holes there and I think that's how it'll be now let me make sure all my wires and all uh, stretch out right All right now we're entering the painful period of we got to buy some stuff and I got to take this all back apart And start packaging it inside the truck Which is gonna be quite an endeavor. I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase You can buy on eBay Delphi weather pack connectors and I'm gonna buy the good ones. You know, you can buy this cheap kit from China. It works good for some stuff, I guess, but I don't think I'm really gonna try, trust it in here. And I'm gonna blend together some of the original stuff. I'm gonna use that. I have a new lock and tumbler for it. I'm probably gonna use the 96 Ford headlight switch. I don't know, we'll see. And uh, I gotta figure out how to get this mounted in there where it feels good. I'm gonna have to bend the clutch pedals, mount computers. I'm probably gonna have to put the inner fender on and this fender at least so I can see how the uh, fuse panel and everything goes. But I don't know how much, I can't really make this an interesting video. So. Um, I'll try to do some other interesting stuff in between. Like remind the young man to pick up his leather kit from the t tool bench for the 50th time. And uh, stuff like that. Alright, it's another Saturday morning and it's rainy and soggy and a little chilly. Here, I'll show you just how chilly. Mm, like 55. So I think today I'm going to stay inside the garage and uh, I'm going to work on this thing a little bit. I probably need to go on and get the inner fender and maybe some other stuff so I can see how everything lays where I can figure out how to run my wiring. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this. I may turn this that way. I don't know. I've ordered some lights, indicator lights for the dash, for my wait to start, glow plugs, 
um, check engine, turn signal indicators. I even found some cool things for uh, the amp, the alternator light and oil pressure because this engine has an oil pressure switch, which they ran into a gauge, kind of a, kind of fooled you. But I'll just hook it to a light. I think I'm going to run a gauge separately anyway. But I'm going to study on that stuff a little bit. And I'm going to consider how I'm going to incorporate the original dash and the 96 Ford and the tack and all that stuff. I got I to gotta do some thinking. So I'm going to do on that, do a little of that, and hopefully I'll find something interesting to show you today. I still can't find a daggone bracket I made to hold that steering column in place. That's another thing I need to do, bend my pedals. So that's the goals for today. I told you she was nuts. <laughs> Talk about we don't got that much time. <laughs> Speaking of nuts, I'm about to drive myself nuts looking for the bracket I made for this to hold my steering column. I need that so I can put the steering column where it's supposed to be so I can bend the pedals. But I can't find it nowhere. Somewhere. I spent an inordinate amount of time. Hope I used that word right. Uh, looking for the bracket for that steering column and I can't find it nowhere. I found some more stuff. Found them brackets I done did made a long time ago, but I can't find that darn bracket. I may have to make a new one. And about the time I do, find I'll find it. I really want to find it though, because you know, I did spend a lot of time figuring all this stuff out once already. Trouble is, I let too much time pass. Here's some of the things I struggle with. I want to use the original style starter button, which goes right there. I think this truck was positive ground, which meant to activate the starter, you put one wire here, so it's only got one connection. This would have been grounded to the chassis, hit the button and it completes the circuit and goes. So in order for this to work, I'll have to set it up using a relay, I think, which further complicates things. Or I could use this starter button, which has a hot in, hot out, and that's how that works. And it would fit there, and it wouldn't look that much different, but it's going to interfere with my headlight switch. <laughs> so, let me think on that a little bit. She's over here getting, giving me welded flash burns. Alright, I done bent my pedal. I'll uh, show you that. They're cooling off. I'm not going to touch them because I'll burn my fenders. Alright, I ain't making much headway, but I'm making some. Alright, now you may be asking yourself, why is he worried about that when he has this ugly 90s uh, knob on his headlight switch? Well, I sort of have a plan for that, too. Sort of. And this little knobber goes right there to turn on the vacuum wipers. I'll show you something else too. And that's the little bright light jewel that goes right there, I think. But I ain't figured out yet how to make that work. I'm going to study on that in a minute. Probably got to put a bulb behind it or something. I might do something different than that. Because I had to bend them again. This stuff ain't easy, folks. What'd you do? I made something. 
Not finished with it yet, though. What you gonna put in here? Flower pot. Are you gonna post it on the website? You can sell it for somebody for Valentine's Valentine's Day. I am. All right. That's just nuts. As for me, I'm in and out underneath this truck, heating pedals and bending them, and I'm sneaking up on it. But boy, it sure isn't a whole bunch of fun, you know. They couldn't have been real big fat guys in the 40s in these trucks. Because it's kind of small up in there. What are you snickering about? <laughs> Alright, she's not here right now. She's down hunting for stuff. But only in my shop do you see welding and a hot glue gun. And don't tell her I said this. But make sure you watch her channel and give her encouragement. She's going to start posting videos. <laughs> Don't film me. I'm filthy. <laughs> she's, anyway, she's going to start posting videos. So tell her what you like. I know it's more of me. She's got some idea about doing crafts and stuff. But I know you really just want to see more hey, of me. Hey, I do metal art crafts. I do it all, buddy. Well, not all. Well... So get ready, y'all. You're going to start hearing a whole lot of, Mrs. Heavy Chevy here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm finally sneaking up on these pedals. This has been a little bit of a challenge. I think I got them where they need to be. It's a little tight in there, but this one will go down and miss the dimmer switch. I don't know if my foot will miss the dimmer switch. By the way, the dimmer switch is new old stock that happens to fit. It's shocking. I got that in a box of parts I bought somewhere. Had a bunch of teapot carburetors, Ford carburetors, which I sold on eBay. And that's kind of help, helping pay for this business right here. Alright, uh, let me show you about my headlight switch. I went down to my, I have a 51 Ford down there. Maybe someday it'll be a rat rod, but... I pulled, it happened to have the headlight switch in it, I pulled that out and I had that in and I thought, oh man, that's going to slip right in there and be perfect. But, and I could use this, but this one is triangular shaped here and this one's flat on one side and round on the rest. I don't know, I may could modify it. Anyway, I'm going to think on that a little bit. Other than that, it would fit in there. Or, I could just get a headlight switch, but... I kind of like the idea of using this one. We'll see. I guess the next order of business is figure out how to rig up that gas pedal apparatus. All right, we're sneaking up on it. I've got that installed. I was trying to get this as much up under the dash as I can because that sure is ugly. Now, I don't really like this. This is a little tight here. But my idea is, as soon as I find the original gas pedal, I'm going to cut this ugliness off. The original one is just a little flat metal thing. That'll look a lot better. But let me get up in there and see how my big feet like. Yeah, it's too high. Well, that seems okay. Eh, just a little tweaking. We'll be good. Alright, it's hard to believe, but I found this on my workbench. The original gas pedal assembly. I kind of hate to cut that thing up. It's pretty nice, but that's what I want to put in it. I'm going to go down and look in that 51 I got and see if it's got one. I'm going to go look. As far as that goes, I can make one. Let me think it over. It's gone to raining again. Would you like to demonstrate to the viewers how the clutch pedal works? Okay, and the brake? Alright, and then the gas pedal? Um. I didn't ask for any sound effects. <laughs> you got them. I see that. Alright, I gotta work on the gas pedal. Alright, I'm not super excited about the clutch. 
this is pretty tight and busy up in there but it does clear everything and I guess that's the best I can hope for right there's the clutch master see it there so I guess I guess we're gonna have to roll with that I may improve on it as thoughts occur to me all right now I need to decide about how I'm gonna orient my computer my thought is if it's vertical like that it'd be a little stronger but if I were to lay it flat be as good but let me see that, that pewter All right. now if I put the PCM where I have it laid out that's how it is I don't think I don't think your foot would ever get in it or anything like that but you could see it I don't know let me study on that a little all right old big brain mr heavy chevy done put his computer right there but then it just dawned on me bet you that inner fender panel bolts about there don't it hmm. well we'll just have to see how to modify that big brain <laughs> not as big as he thinks all right, now that I've got the computer mounted, uh, did I show that? The PCM, anyway. I still got to mount the IDM, but I think it's going to go on the inner fender right here. Maybe. Anyway, all that stuff to be figured out. But what I'm going to work on now is the gas pedal. I think I need to cut him off right there. And then I need to cut the original one off right there and put it together about something like that. But before I do any welding, I'm going to remove these sensors because, well, I just don't want to cook them. I ain't sure if it will or not. I don't want to take the chance. Boy, she sure gets my money's worth out of them, don't she? I wonder what the backer looks like. <laughs> Good grief. I guess it's still okay. For the first time in my life, I have welded a lampshade. <laughs> she's not telling what she's going to come up with next. All right. I've also welded a gas pedal. We'll see how that looks. You know, I was looking at this thing. I discovered the barometric pressure sensor mounts right there. You know, you can't rush these things. you got to let, let stuff kind of come to you. So... Or at least I have to. Anyways, that's it for me tonight. I didn't get a whole bunch done, but it sure felt like I worked awful hard. Uh, the little man would ring the bell, but he has caught a cold again because he ain't got no sense and plays in the rain with his buddy. So that's the way that cookie crumbled. So uh, hopefully he'll get better shortly. And get back out here and uh, get with it. With me. <laughs>